me a that's this red flowers and okay I can't mix them apparently oh okay so that doesn't work let's have a look Oh, okay, they are here. Just couldn't see them. <laughs> These are a bit too much. Whoa, thirty frames per second. That's that's not good. I need to figure out a better way to make these make good looking garden area around here. Because this is a bit too much for this. Wait. Oh no, it's the it's the map on that area that's causing that. Okay. So once it's optimized it should be fine. Because those are just billboard textures. I need to figure out a better way to make the flowers here, but for the time being it's okay, I think. Um, no, these are all, um, starboard 
3D Forge models. The um, all these are built from modular pieces. They're all part of the 3D Forge package. Oh, that reminds me. Um, there's a sale going on at the moment. Um, yeah, this package from CD Forge is 40% off, and I think some of these other ones are also, this one is off by a bit, I think, yeah, it's 33% off. Yeah, the thing is, I'm trying to um, use them all from one source. Um, so the difference isn't that much. <laughs> um, at some point, I got the interior package um, of all these assets. And I didn't buy them, I, I won them in, in a giveaway. And then I built a few interiors with it and I really liked them. Then I bought a few others and combined them and it's looking really good so far. And if the, the style is the same it's it's totally fine. Um, if I had created all that stuff myself, or if I n would need to create all that stuff myself, I wouldn't be done in uh, had done so much progress in so little time. So it's really lifesaver in that regard, and they're not that expensive to be honest. So that worked out for me. And since they are um, modular you can build a lot of different stuff with it. In this case I just um, used the same wall pieces that are used for the for the basement area here um, as city walls kind of and just use a bit of um, scaling the outside. But I need to re redo the walls once I have better assets for that. And I use the same thing for this platform here, for the marketplace. So it works on different, for different stuff. It's really nice. Um, 
I created my own system, basically. Um, and texture-wise, I'm using um, some quite old um, free package you could get for um, fantasy stuff. For fantasy um, UIs. Um, here, that's my dialog system. For some reason it killed my um, dialog I was writing and I only have the simple variation here and some of that doesn't even work correctly at the moment. So I don't know why that is. Need to look into that. But um, I, at some point, three years ago, so, um, wrote my own dialogue editor, and. Yeah, I have that one and parents zero. Okay, That's strange. And here I can create branching dialogues with different conditions and all that stuff. And for some reason, oh, we need the global conditions here. <laughs> um, those are at the moment my own tools. Um, at some point, I might, um, clean them up and throw them on the asset store, but at the moment they are just there for me. But I think there are dialog systems here that you can use. Yeah, here we have dialog system. It's for free. It's kind of doing the same as I'm doing. Interesting. Export to import XML. Interesting. Yeah, but um, at some point I just built my own. Um, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but I don't think that has that many features. and a lot of yeah a few options here.